This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. Welcome back. It's time to do a little bit of practicalness in Linux, yeah. setting up some key pair authentication with OpenSSH. So just like you did with Putty, except more fun because I'm in the command line. And come on, how oh, fun is that? Yeah, of course, whatever. Yes. So we're going to go. It's okay, I'm learning the command line, man. You are. You're getting a whatever. lot better at that. So we're going <laughs> to go ahead and start out on the remote server. You can see I'm logged in right here as uh, Darren at my VPS, mm -hmm. and I'm going to start by creating a folder called dot uh, ssh. And then I'm going to chmod that to 700. Just like I did. Exactly like you did. So if I ls tech a dot ssh, you can see now that I, and only -R -W -X. I, have, oh, uh, okay. have read, write, and execute mm -hmm. permissions on that. So let's head over to that folder. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to put a file in here called authorize underscore keys 2, just mm -hmm. like you did. OK, but where are we going to get that key from? Yeah. Ah, see, you generated yours with uh, I use with Putty, Putty Gen. Gen. Well, back on my local machine, here we go. What I'm going to do is do ssh dash keygen with a tac t, and I'm going to say what type I want. Mm -hmm. In this case, I want RSA. Okay. okay. And so the first thing that's going to happen is it's going to say, hey, where do you want to save this file? And the default is fine. Typically, it's in, and on my machine, I'm my home directory slash home slash Darren. And it wants to put it in the folder .ssh and name it id underscore rsa. OK. OK. And so we're going to say, yeah, that's fine. Hit Enter. Now it's going to ask me for a passphrase, just like you had to set up a passphrase. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give you a little hint. If you really want to be lazy, you can hit Enter twice right here, and you'll never Do have no a passphrase. passphrase. But then and you don't have a passphrase. Yeah. And then the only security whatsoever with you logging into that server is you having that file. That's no so good. So I'm not going to do that. I'm yeah. actually going to give it a. Uh, Half decent password. OK. And so when we're done, check it out. Here's my key what fingerprint. What is that? Uh, that's actually a picture. There's a, there's a random, there's an art image of my RSA key. I know. Oh, it's, that's it's funny. Funky, but here we go. And you notice it says that my identification has been saved in this folder, home, Darren, dot SSH. Dot SSH, and I have two of them. I have ID, ID underscore RSA, RSA and ID underscore RSA dot pub, pub for public. Yep, so the one Got without it. the .pub is my private. I need to keep that to myself. Nice, okay. So if I go over to .ssh now and do an ls, tech la, you can see here I have my, RSA my and private RSA key and my public key. Mm -hmm. And so all I have to do now is take this public key and send it over to my server and name it authorized underscore keys. Okay. So, uh, or key Show two. me. Okay, so <laughs> SCP. Remember how we talked about in the SSH protocol uh -huh. um, how the last part, the connections bit, mm -hmm. has three different channels? Yes. That first channel is the shell. Yeah. And it can also be used not just interactively like I am over here logged into the server, um, not just the shell, but also SCP, which is SSH copy. Just like oh. CP is copy in Linux to copy yeah. a file locally, SCP uses shell SSH copy. to copy a file. Oh. It's a very secure method to copy a file yeah. because it uses that whole secure tunnel to do that. So oh, cool. nice. So okay. I'm going to SCP that file. And so that file is id underscore rsa mm -hmm. dot pub. I'm only going to give it the public file. And then I give it the username at the host, in this case, ddk.hack5.org. And right. then get this, you have to give it a colon. So you're saying, I want to put that file on this server, colon, and then where in this server? Oh, well, okay. it's, it defaults to your home directory. So it's already done the slash, you know, the, the tilde. It yeah. already does slash home slash Darren. So now I just have to give it dot SSH and then get this. Um, I, don't, I can even put it into a file of my choosing. Oh, really? I don't have to keep the same file name. So it doesn't need to be named id underscore rsa dot pub. Totally and so now uh, I'm going to call this authorized underscore keys to hit enter. And so this uses SSH to do it. So since I haven't already set up my private and public key pairs, right. mm -hmm. I'm getting asked for my password. Notice it did not prompt me, hey, is this, you know, is this, does this look right to you? Right. The host uh, key. And that's because of this file right here called known hosts. It already because knows. I already have ddk.hackfab.org in there. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, so now I just give it my password. It copies the file. 
and ton of percents copied over there, Yay. and there we go. So now, okay. if I go back to my remote server, mm -hmm. um, okay, here I am back on the remote server and do ls, just like before. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that! I've got my authorized keys, keys to file. Nice. Yes, and so if I actually do ls tech la on that, you'll see that oh, we've got a couple of permission problems here, don't we? Yeah. Well, dash says, hey, it's a file. And rw dash means I can read and write it, can't right. execute it. Mm -hmm. But who are these bitches over here that have Users the R's? Users in world, yeah. Users in world, the last thing I need is the world to have that. Yeah. So I'm going to do chmod 600 in this case on that file. And so now when I ls again, aha, only me. Nice. No, 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 other bitches. And that's it. So now I can exit. And so my connection was closed. Uh -huh. And if I SSH back in just as I normally would, I don't mm -hmm. even have to do like you can manually do like tack I and say, oh, you know, this use this public uh, or this private key here. Um, I don't have to do that. Um, by default, it'll go ahead and know where my private key is. And so I just do that and oh, oh, and get this. This oh. right here. That's your the password phrase that you just set up, right? Yes, and it's saying unlock private key. And this right here is Ubuntu's um, key manager oh, saying, okay. hey, just like you've got the pageant. That's just like pageant, yeah. Just like you've got the pageant, I have to now unlock my private key. Nice. If I hit enter twice, I wouldn't have seen this. Yep. But I do that, and now I'm logged in. Yay! And watch this. If I exit and do it again, what do you think is going to happen? It will ask you for the password again? No, because it's in memory. Oh. If I reboot, it will. Oh, okay. Or if enough time is so elapsed. So make sure you don't leave your computer unattended. And well, unattended. that's the best yeah. practice. I mean, <laughs> you're supposed to go up here and click lock screen. You of know, course. when you walk away, <laughs> or you make sure that nobody comes up to your computer with a can of compressed air and pulls your RAM and takes the right. key. But that's a yeah. different discussion. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, I am totally stoked about this because we have now shown uh, Windows and Linux server as well as Windows and Linux clients. Yeah. And so that means that next this week awesome. we're going to be able to do a whole lot more with a bunch of fun practical bits with maintaining persistence Ooh, really? and reverse tunnels and cool stuff like that. But right now we're going to take a quick break. And when we get back, it's trivia and Technos Foot of the Week. Stay tuned. Hack 5's 11th season is here, and let me tell you, we couldn't be happier with our awesome sponsor, Domain.com. They've been hooking us up for three years now. They're our favorite domain registrar, and the truth is, we really couldn't be happier with them. Hack5.org, our forums, all hosted over there. It's such great stuff. In fact, the virtual private server that we've been using for this whole proxy series over at domain.com. That's where you can go and get new domains for your portfolio. You can manage your company's domains. You can do a little hacking all over at domain.com. You know, if you want to do some web hosting, they've got these really quick ways to install and get set up with like WordPress and Joomla, plus a ton of other super easy programs to use over there. And I gotta say, like over the years, they have been the most awesome when it comes to support. You tweet at domain.com and they respond like that and they are like down to earth, cool, chill people. So don't forget, when you're buying a domain, head over to domain.com. Even if you're just transferring your existing names, you can do that and use the coupon code HAK5, save yourself 15%. Now, when you think domain names, think domain.com. It's time once again for the Technos Photo of the Week. What do we have? Yes! This is a cute one. It's from Matthew. Mm -hmm. He shared a photo of his adorable son oh, getting his Technolist on. I know, but he's not so much of a noob. He's playing Backtrack 5. Oh my gosh, there's a noob in route on that machine. <laughs> Be careful, dude. <laughs> and you can always share your Technolust photos at feedback at hack5.org and use the subject line Technolust so we know to check it. Add your kids pictures. to your pseudoers file. Yes. You know, do that. It's time once again for trivia. What was trivia question last week? The trivia question last week was what is the Intel QuickSync? Actually, I'm not familiar with QuickSync. I'm being completely honest, what the hell is that? It's apparently hardware acceleration for GPU-based encoding in Sandy Bridge Ooh, CPUs. I want that. I know, right? I probably have that, and I don't even know it's it. It's sexy. It's like yeah, I probably do too. I have a bunch of cool I extensions, you know. Yeah, that 
I love oh the virtualization sense. extensions because, man, I actually saw a practical improvement, like on like real world. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. But uh, we haven't done a whole lot of GPU. Maybe we should use cool. GPUs to crack SSH keys. <gasps> Yeah, that sounds saying. fun. Uh -huh. Ooh, oh, this yeah. sounds really fun. All right, what's this week's trivia question? Yay, computers! This week's trivia question is, Microsoft developed a 3D graphics architecture in the late 1990s. This architecture was called what? And uh, you can answer uh, over it. I know this one. Don't say it. Don't say it out loud. Hack5.org slash trivia to win some swag. We got swaggity swag to give away, so head over there. Yeah, we do. Yes. Like stickers. Ben, while you're over there, Random email things us. from conventions. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. Tell us things what like you think. That. Yeah, let us know. We value your feedback so much. We read all of the emails that come in, feedback at hack5.org. Let us know what you think of the show, what you would like to see us cover, if you really liked all these tips that we shared this week. And if you've got other know. proxy stuff to send by, you know? Yeah. If, if you're using proxy chains with Tor and a whole bunch of reverse blah blah blahs to do like R-sync between multiple things and then you grep that to your set and awk over your pipes, then hit us up because we love to hear about <laughs> that. Also, hack5.org slash follow is where you can find us on Google Plus, Facebook, Twitter, and all the rest of the world. All the good places. And the overworld. If you really, really want to support us and you really feel like checking out all the cool swaggy swag that we wear during the show and like the Hack 5 t-shirt and all the awesome accessories for our gadgets, we're totally awesome, go over to hakshop.com. Yes, that supports us directly and we really appreciate that. And I ship everything oh. personally in boxes over there. So She gives every pineapple a French kiss. I'm joking about that though. Don't, yeah, don't kiss PCB, actually. Don't, no. no. <laughs> That's no. gross. All right, until next week, I'm Darren Kitchen. <laughs> I'm Shannon Morse. Trust your technologist. Bye. <laughs>